In this video, we're going to look at a separation technique called filtration. There are some examples of where filtration is used in everyday life. For example, you may have heard of filtered coffee. Filtered coffee is coffee that is passed through a filter before being served. And as you can see in the image, the filter paper has collected all of the insoluble parts of the coffee that haven't dissolved. In the science lab, you will need the following pieces of equipment to carry out filtration. You will need a conical flask, a funnel and filter paper. Filtration is a separation technique that separates an insoluble substance that is mixed with a liquid or solution. For example, you could separate sand and water because sand is insoluble and it doesn't dissolve in water. Filter paper contains very small holes. Particles that are too big can't get through and get stuck onto the filter paper. This is what the experiment might look like if we've separated sand from water. The filtered part that has fit through the filter paper is called the filtrate and the insoluble part that didn't fit through the filter paper is called the residue. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.